Hello everyone. Today we are going to build this console panel setup using Next.js, GSAP and Tailwind CSS. Let's get started. I am already in my next app and my local server is running in localhost 3000. Now first thing is, go to page.js. First let us clean all these things. Also go to globals.css and take out all these default stylings. Instead give margin of 0, padding of 0, box sizing of border box, background color of black and text color to white. After this we will create a component. Inside the root folder, create a folder called components. Inside this components, we shall create a file called scroll panels. So JS. Now we will import this in the page.js. Import scroll panels. Yeah. Now we'll go inside this component and we will start working in here. Now we'll start with HTML and CSS. So inside this div, we're going to have three sections. So for the first section, give a class name of leading none static top of zero of full minimum height of screen background of this color margin bottom of 250 view height height of screen it's going to have a flex column, so give a flex, flex column, text of center, item center, and justify center, and give a padding top of 32 and padding bottom of 8 so inside this first section we are going to have a h2 so inside it give panels effect between this we shall have a break so this h2 is going to have a class name of section title this is going to be our custom CSS class after this h2 give a p tag and give a class name of margin 0 max width of 400 pixels inside it we shall give build Next.js and GSAP. After this, we should have another P tab. It's going to have a class name of margin 0, max width of 400 pixels. Margin top of auto text 
hundred of five hundred. Enter this speed tab. Give us panel amount. So we are done with the first section. So for the second section, here here is where we are going to build our panels. So give a class name of section column. So it's going to be a custom class. Leading now. Top of zero. Minimum height of screen. Give it a background of the same color. Pop it. This color fixed. Left of zero. Right of zero. Also bottom of zero. And give it a Z index of. Negative one. It's going to have a width of full and height of screen. Inside this section, we are going to have three nested tools. So for the first view. Give a class name of custom class called columns. Width of full, relative, flex, justify center, gap of 2.5 view width, height of full. Give negative rotate of forty five and item center. And for the second day, give a class name of column rack relative flex. Flex column, padding top of five view height, padding x of zero, padding bottom of fifteen view height, and z index of one. For third div, give a class name of column. Relative and block. So column is also going to be our custom class. So inside it, we are going to have our column items. So give it a div and give a class name of column item width of twenty five view height. Height of twenty five view width relative overflow hidden bounded of four pixels cursor pointer margin top of zero. Margin right of zero. Margin bottom of two point five view width. And finally, margin left of zero. Now inside this, we're going to have our image. We we'll give it a class name of column image. And source to be.
so I stored all my images inside this public folder now we will style the section title column wrap and column image it says global search we we'll go to global search and give section title uh, style it as font weight to be 300 and give it a font size of clamp 2 rem comma 17 view width comma 12.5 rem after this give margin of 5 view width 5 view height 0 and 6 view height give a line height to be 0.9 give text transform to none similarly for column graph we are going to style only for the even column item so give it a margin top of 20 view height and for column image give a class name of width of 100% height of 100% background size of cover background position as 50% 50% and give will change to transform now this is it now we will check yeah so we didn't get our image go back so if it changes then slash now we shall check yeah so we got our image so remember we are going to have three columns and each column is going to contain seven elements so for the first column we got one image so for each column we are going to have seven elements so copy this column item so this div which contains the column item copy it and paste it six more times below it Yeah, now we shall check. Yeah, as you can see, we got this layout. Remember, we are going to have three columns. Got one. So, still, we need two more columns. That's so simple. Copy this column wrap view and paste it two times below it. now we got three columns now we shall check yeah as you can see we got this three column layout now i shall change the images Yeah, now we changed all the images. I will check. Yeah, as you can see, we got all the images. Now go back. Now we are done with HTML and CSS. Now we'll start with JavaScript. But before that, we have to install few dependencies. So open up a new terminal. npm install gsap and studio tightness. It's installed. I will import those. Import Linux from Studio Fit Linux. Also import GSAP from GSAP and import scroll trigger 
डॉक्टर जी साहब सर्च बोल रही हूँ वी आर सो गोइंग टू यू से Also mention use client in the start. Now go inside this function. Open the use effect. So before the so you have to register scroll trigger. So G S F dot register plugin now. Scroll trigger. So inside this use effect first. First, we will define few DOM elements. So we get few DOM elements to animate them. So const DOM equals columns, and this is going to be document dot query selector of section columns. Then column wraps is going to be document dot query selector all of section columns column wrap. Then items is going to be. Document dot query selector all of section columns column item. After defining this DOM, next we will define Linux. After this, we are going to have to import a function. So, only for smooth scrolling. And another is for scroll animation. So, first inside this smooth scroll function, update Linux as new Linux of So Linux is going to be useful for our smooth scrolling functionality. So give it a loop of point one. And smooth to true. After this, we are going to create a recursive function. So we shall name it scroll function. Equals. So call Linux dot RAF or time. So this function is going to get a parameter of time. So RAF RAF is nothing but request animation frame. After this, call request animation frame of scroll function. Now after this function, again call request animation frame. Pass in the scroll function. Now this is it. This is it for the smooth scroll function. I will start working on the scroll animation. So inside it, we are going to define our GSAP. So GSAP dot timeline of scroll trigger give us start to be zero. n to be max and mention scrub to be true now after this we are going to add a label called start and set it to 0 now open two property and give it a first parameter of dom dot columns And it's going to have a ease of none. Start at G 
give a scale value of 1.2 and scale to 1 and initially it's going to start from start now we give gsub for these columns now we have to give it for dom items so give dom dot items give a scroll trigger of start of 0 end of top and top scrub of true and after the scroll trigger give is to be power 4 dot in out start at give a opacity of 0 and filter to be give a brightness of 300% after this give a opacity to be 1 and filter to be brightness of 100% and after this give yo yo to true and repeat of 1 now we are done animating for dom dot items and dom dot section column now we have to animate for column maps so again give two pass in dom dot column wraps and give a is to be none and y percent to be a callback takes a parameter of position and give position times negative 15 and that's it and now it's going to start from the start so this is it now we shall call the functions so below this first call the smooth scroll function next we shall call the scroll animation function this is it now we shall check as you can see we got this on scroll animation so i hope you guys liked it so thank you for watching and see you in the next one